Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel and uh, this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising. A weekly general tarot reading uh, for March 18th to March 24th, 2019. And as this is a general reading, it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different uh, Aquarius. And, uh, you know, if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me, through tarot cards and to give you a prediction for the future, just like I'm doing for the few examples I'm giving in this video, that is your subject of a private reading. And for such, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there on the very front page of it, you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing which are starting from just as little as uh, $12 because I decided to uh, basically keep up the promotions that regards to every service in there for the month of March as well. So that being set aside, going to the first card here, which is the topic of Aquarius this week, that is going to be the death card, followed by the second one, which is the negative approach to all the situation that is going to be the two of swords. Third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the Empress. And the last card that we do have that is going to be the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot here with the Two of Swords and with the Empress card, we have the King of uh, Wands. So once again, the Death card, followed by the Two of Swords. Afterwards, that is to be the Empress. And the last one that we do have, that is going to be the King of Wands. Awesome. So Aquarius is, uh, the, uh, the death card as a topic of the week, the death is always about change. The difference is about the change with the death and let's say the change with the tower. The uh, world also could mean change. The difference with the death card of um, a topic of change, it means that one thing gets replaced with another. That is the change. So your project could be replaced with another, your relationship could be replaced with another, or simply the death could also mean, you know, the ending of a, a certain cycle, being single, up, you get in relationship. So it ends the cycle of being single and um, make you being in a relationship or ends the cycle being jobless and you get uh, a, a job. The thing with the death card in these cases, however, when it relates to ending of a cycle, it doesn't really say, are you going to be very excited about it or not? It's just an opportunity for you to change, you know, your status and to change your routine. But uh, with the death card, let me pull it out. So with the death card, even if it is about replacement, you know, let's say your relationship gets replaced with another or your project gets gets replaced with another or your position, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, even if at start it does look like uh, something poignant, so you don't want to part ways with whatever it is uh, being replaced in your environment. Uh, in the long run, actually, that is going to be more lucrative or beneficial move. When the debt manifests, uh, the whole subject of the card is about the, four horse the fourth horseman of apocalypse, which comes around and takes what is no longer have a potential to grow. We, basically, it's dead already and replace it or takes it away so it can it can clear up a room or a free space a new thing new life to sparkle to sp or to sprinkle i don't know how to say it, you know and to actually develop there as you can see here the emperor dies but another one takes its place meaning the empire perseveres right so this is not the end of the world. That is what I'm trying to say. Life is just changing. It is not taken. Um, it is not taken away. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the two of wands. So the formation is uh, passive enemies. And uh, the shade that it adds is that this change is going to be in a completely new direction. So it's something that you haven't considered, let's say it that way, in a very, very different way that you are used to. 
just to give you an example, you know, your sweater gets changed from the universe, you know, you date with someone, things aren't going very well, and throughout that week they get replaced with someone else. Well, this someone else is going to require a, a brand new set of, uh, of mindset, of skills, of approach, and so on and so forth. So you are to find yourself into a bit of unknown waters, if, if I may express myself that way, with these couple of cards. It's not something that you continuously developed until this very moment as a skill, as an attitude, and so on and so forth. But it is a thing that you got to start from scratch, adapting yourself to it, and finding the best possible way to tackle with this change. But once again, <clears throat> even if at the start it does look like uh, a painful and it looks uh, a bit, you know, uh, uncomfortable, this change that it is coming for you, um, Aquarius, is, uh, regardless where it's going to manifest in, in your personal life or in your social circle, because the death could speak that one friend goes away, another one gets its place and so on and so forth. Uh, it's ultimately for the better and in the long term, this new thing which replaces the old can be developed into a much greater height. So if that is about a one relationship replacing another, this new one can definitely go much further than this one that you are replacing it with. So the second card that we do have for you Aquarius is that is going to be the two of swords and that is the negative approach toward the situation. And what the card tells you, I mean, by, by, the, uh, by the image itself, one can say do nothing. So that is the negative approach or make no approach whatsoever, constantly trying to deliberate and to uh, analyze the situation instead of seizing it here with the death card, missing your chance to dictate the rules how the change is going to proceed forward. With the death card, make no mistake, guys, this change is coming one way or another, but the two of uh, swords here is saying that if you don't act, or rather like if you don't take an initiative here as the change is happening, you're gonna miss your chance to dictate the rules. Because in this case, you have a choice to make. It is the way that I am uh, seeing it. You can either uh, take this exchange or replacement to manifest itself as a sacrifice or as a loss, right? So sacrifice is when you make a decision, okay? So you take the choice how that thing is going to go away. Or you can choose to experience loss, meaning that decision to be taken for you. Let's say that uh, it, is about your, it is about a relationship, a relationship is about to go, and instead of waiting to the last moment, your partner to break up with you, this card asks you to get the initiative, you know, and just break with them on your turf, on your terms. That way, simply is going to be less painful and you will have the, uh, the ability to dictate the rules, not just for how this thing is going to end, either relationship or a project, but as well how you should proceed from there and what what kind of criteria the next one should have, not to mention that you may also miss a, a, a good moment, you know, to uh, allow this new life to embark into your, uh, into your life or into your environment in general. The accompanied card here, that is going to be the Four of uh, Cups and the formation is active neutrals. The Four of Cups here, it is pointing that the new thing which is to be re, uh, the, which is to replace the old it is just under your nose you are not seeing it it is because uh, for for many different reasons really i can i can give you a lot but i know these people which want for example everything to be 100% established and secure and that is called, do you know how we call it into the engineering science? We call it perpetuum mobile. It's, there is no such thing. There is always something that can happen. There is always some things that can go unpredictable and so on and so forth. So you looking for that, that everything is going to be established, giving you an example. Um, you know, you have a person to date with, which is to replace the previous one, but you want him to be, uh, to promise that they are going to marry you, you know, to promise that they are going to uh, 
come with you on a certain events and so on and so forth. And when something of this doesn't happen, you know, you kind of like exclude them completely and so on and so forth. It's basically you need to leave a, a margin for an error here as well. As things are changing, guys, and it's very difficult to predict how exactly you are going to get to that exhilarating uh, standpoint that it is uh, given to you at the end of this transition because once again the death always at the end ends up as you are finding yourself into an, an exhilarating point. I can remember for myself when the death happened, when I lost my full-time job due a crisis and so on, well it's a long story really but out of nowhere, it got replaced with a really good one. It was something that I really wanted to, um, to work. So what happens is that in reality, yeah, it was painful. You get jobless, but in the same time, it leaves a room for you to start doing something you like. And it is what I start doing. In my case, just to find out it is not what I have imagined, you know, Although I spent three years doing it, it was not a thing that I want to repeat once again. Uh, but yeah, it is, you got to leave a room for uh, a margin for error here. And just if the situation is acceptable or rather like is what is proposed to you as a replacement is acceptable. Try it out, explore it. And you are to be surprised, you know, how, how well you fit in the grand scheme of things and how that thing in general fits well with you, either on your project or, as I said, in your relationship. And if we have to give it as a project, guys, um, you know, you may be reassigned from one project to another. It could be a poignant experience, you know, thinking that everything that you worked for is stripped from you and that in this new project you are not going to be as successful as before and so on and so forth. And if you give it a, a chance, you know, to develop, you are to see that this new project is much more lucrative and it gives you much more uh, options available and heights in general to go for. So my point here, Aquarius, is, is that you should not struggle to borrow time on whatever wants to walk away from your life, but just part with, way, with it with smile, because this smile is not for the thing walking away, but for the new one that is coming around. The card marking how you should approach the situation, that is the um, Empress. So detachment is required in a sense of that not being biased about uh, your expectations because the uh, in a very extreme state, the death could uh, represent one being convinced in the doom and gloom. And that's why biased um, mindset of that things are going for the worst is just going to provoke things to go for the worst. That's why at the time of this transition, it will be best if you just allow it to unfold itself in a natural way and in a, in a natural state and, in, and instead attend to those enterprises and those endeavors which you have more control upon. For example, your career, you know, you get reassigned, you don't know what is going to happen in a couple of days, you are waiting for approval or for decision of your boss. It will be a futile, you know, you worrying about that at this moment because the decision or the reassignment haven't came yet. So why don't you focus instead into your friends, into your family, things that you do have more control upon. It is what about the, the Empress is. And finally, when, uh, when the change starts taking more shape and it, it becomes more solid, with solid ground that you can step and, and make foundations on, then uh, the situation will require a very mature decision from you to make uh, with the Empress. And that decision is also going to be a result of your detachment. It's because you haven't stressed yourself. Now you can see the things with their true faces and you can make a accurate assessment of the situation situation itself and that will allow you to truly sow a um, or sow excuse me a, a very good uh, seeds in a very fruitful soil which will allow you to reap to harvest the fruits of your labor further but with the empress the most ominous interpretation of the empress is that you are going to reap what you have been sown either good or bad so it will be uh, very beneficial for you in this case, Aquarius, you know, not to be frantic, not to be uh, panicking as well and do stupid things just because you are trying to sustain, to sustain a thing, relationship, project, person and more in general that simply wants to walk away. 
Um, I had that friend, I, I'd like to think that we are still friends, you know, that says, if someone wants to walk away, nothing can stop him. You know, for example, if your uh, girlfriend wants to walk away, nothing can stop her. If your husband wants to walk away, nothing can stop him. What you can do is just face this departure, departure with smile and, leave, and opening that room for someone else who is to cherish you more, nurturing you more and is ready to give you a, you know, more happiness or to make you more happy. The accompanied card that is going to be the uh, Six of uh, Swords. The formation that we do have here is uh, passive uh, enemies. So with passive enemies and the Empress on lead, it does mean that you should not rush, uh, you know, your, uh, in general, your decision and how you're going to plant the seeds of your labor here. Once again, like I said, it will require mature decision, detachment and so on and so forth. So whatever looks risky, it is best, you know, to keep it just as an option available for now instead of making a move toward it. Let's say that, um, you replaced one person for another, but this new one, it kind of seems a little bit, you know, um, scampering and it, it, it seems a little bit uh, disinterested and so on and so forth. So don't invest yourself straight away in it because the death card points that even if the one that is replacing right now, uh, it's not suitable for you, then another one is going to replace him as well. The death card points that there will be a replacement. How many replacements? Nobody can say really. So it's entirely with the Empress here, guys, it's entirely your choice, but you will have to live with that choice. So making a commitment, it will make you reap the fruits of that commitment. So with the Empress there, you have to be very accurate about what kind of commitment you do regarding projects or regarding um, relationships as well. And uh, the most positive, uh, how can I place it? The most positive manifestation of this reading is where you are giving a choice to replace your current place into your career or your current project with something of your choosing. So your boss approaches you and tells you, look, um, I see that you're not very happy of what you're working. Well, that is rarely thing that the boss is saying. But yeah, they say that we have a few open spots in these couple of projects, you know. Um, if you decide to re readopt yourself into one of these projects you know you, you you have my approval so there you go you get to replace one thing with another on your turf and that could be provoked very well if you approach your boss and say i cannot work with that person or i cannot work under this project because this and this and this and they may consider you know your request and allow you to kind of like reassign yourself into a, a different project or into a different team as well. Uh, I am saying that because we do have the King of Wands at the end. And King of Wands is a manifestation where all that is gonna lead you to that person. So this person, very affectionate, very mature as well, very determined person who can capitalize on your skills or on your positive qualities as well. It's very positive card from this follow-up regarding either relationships or regarding either career. A person who can truly manifest your ideas and as well and, and your goals and dreams as well. And uh, simply that is the replacement you have or that is the the thing which is to replace the one that is already gone okay so that could be the, your boss manifesting your goal to readopt you into a new project or it could be the new person that you're gonna feel very happy of because they very well know what you want and they very well know how to get you there the accompanied card that is going to be the tree of pentacles the formation is a active supporters. Tree of Pentacles points that with this person, you're gonna sit on a very established patterns, consolidating and solidifying on the current positions. So that could be as well a sign of promotion, you know, it could be as well a sign of a marriage proposal and so on and so forth. And from there, deliberating on how that Thing can grow with either the approval in the back of this uh, King of Wands or with the cooperation or relationship with them. It does depend how that person is going to manifest with you guys. But at the end of the week, should you allow what holds you back to uh, walk away from your life 
uh, this person is going to once again take its place and is going to make your goals reality or at least very, very achievable. With the Tree of uh, Wands, especially as a uh, accompanying card to the, knight, to the King of Wands, it means that your, your efforts, or rather like the, the efforts that you exert with the support of that person definitely are gonna justify the results. You know, it's, it's just you're going to achieve what you have expected. And uh, if we're talking about relationships in the sense of, you know, friendships or uh, intimate relationships as well, there will be a very big harmony, meaning that uh, whatever you expect to happen is going to happen because that person is going to be, like I said, committed and devoted to um, and affectionate as well to your needs and to your yearnings. And they will do whatever they can to fulfill them because for them in this combination, your happiness is their happiness either. So that being said, Aquarius, is this was your uh, weekly tarot reading uh, for March 18th to March 24th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, this was your general reading for Aquarius star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Aquarius. But if you do want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me, through tarot, just like I did for the few examples in this video, then that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a full list of my services, as well as their pricings, which are starting from just as little as $12. For reason being, I decided to keep the promotions concerning all sales that I am providing for the month of March as well. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.